Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to this um, ATB, if you will. Uh, it's going to be an um, interesting one, playing a, a bit of a FIFA, as you can see here. And if I just minimise my uh, bits and pieces here, should have uh, Martin Tyler doing some commentary on the match as it gets a little bit choppy and a little bit glitchy there. I thought I'd do something like this um, as we um, have no more A-League for the foreseeable future. Look at Grant with his mullet. That's fantastic. It's like my Be A Pro's mullet, except my Be A Pro's got some brown hair. Um, Lafondra? Wow, what a, what a head, what a nose. Anyways, um, I thought I'd play this because we don't have any football, so I figure I might as well give this a crack and... Why not? Let's talk a bit about the team. As you can see, Lopar, Russell, Miguel, and Yerman, Georgievsky, Schwegler, Bacchus, Yaboa, Duke, Muller, and Cox. And then Babel, still the manager. We know that's not the case, but, you know, whatever. Uh, undefined. Whatever the hell that means. You can't tell us their names. And we're playing a 4-2-3-1, which is not like us. We're normally playing a um, three at the back. There's Danny. Yeah, that's Keanu. That's Yaboa. Don't know who that is. Uh, maybe Duke. I'm not too sure. And uh, Sydney FC, Redmayne, Grant, McGowan, Wilkinson, Zulo, Bratton, Retray, Bamiohan, Ninkovic, Barbarusis, Lafondra, Buhaja, Ivanovic, Caceres, Zavella, King, Van der Sarg, and Hewitt Bell. So, um, yeah, it looks like they're pretty updated. Uh, O'Neill's not in the squad because he left in January. So, um, that's, um, it's pretty clever, actually, by the um, by the FIFA types. As I um, go through some uh, settings there. Um I hope this video is not as choppy as what it um, what it could be, or, or I hope it's pretty smooth. But if not, my apologies. Next time I do a live stream, you'll just hear my voice. I thought I'd do this as a um, as a as a test, and here we go. So don't know how you guys have fared about the uh, season this year. We all had high hopes after three wins in our first uh, three games, and then we went on a massive what two or three month period where we um, either had a draw. Or lost, and that uh, ultimately led to the uh, sacking of Marcus Babel and uh, John Paul Di Marini took over, and he's done uh, pretty well. He's um, had uh, a derby win and a derby draw, uh, all uh, circumstances aside, and he's also brought the team back together as well, which was nice. There was a moment where the team looked a little bit lost. We had no idea what we were doing on the pitch. The defense was still okay, but not the best. And ah, oh, what a steal from Ninkovic there, bastard. Uh, the team wasn't the best. We, we did what we could with what we had available and ultimately, um, you know, did ourselves on proud. I mean, if the season does finish where it's at now and Sydney are crowd champions, fair enough. You can't take it away from them. They've been fantastic, not just this season, but for a few seasons prior. So Corica has um, done well with the uh, blueprints that Graham Arnold had left him. Giveaway there from, from us boys down the middle. Ah, wrong ball. Poor effort. So, all in all, um, I think based on the hopes we had at the start of the season, I think it's um, been pretty poor on our part. So, I mean, granted, we um, could be much worse off. We could be finishing um, last where the... Oh, um... oh, 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 oh! Go in, go in! Yes, tap in! Yes! Um where we uh, had uh, high hopes, but it could be worse, as I said. Who's that? Muller. Oh, he doesn't have blonde hair in this. I thought he had blonde hair in the last one. Cox has got the blondy hair. Nice one, Muller. He's a German. Oh, they're doing the Poznan in the 17th minute. That's not when we do the Poznan, bro. That's wrong. FIFA, you're broken. FIFA is broken. Anyways, so having, um, yeah, having started and um, played the season as we did, yeah, We'd like to be much higher, fighting for the top six. In truth, we weren't far off. I think we recovered well under under JP. Um, I was always under the assumption or the thought that, you know, is it really worth changing a manager over? You might as well finish the season with the manager. How much could you possibly change within a uh, short space amount of time? We've seen Newcastle have a bit of a uh, turnaround in fortunes with Carl Robinson over there having taken over. Um, there was talk of uh, Mark Rudan at Western United that he had a uh, rift with the... Um, with the players there, Ooh, get there, Lopar diving out, fantastic. Uh, um, and we, and um, also, of course, um, Marco Kurz had some victory after they weren't that maybe far off like where we are. I mean, granted, they're what a couple of points below us on the table as it as it stands or as it will finish. 
so maybe that's the case there but it, it's been a very weird season not just for our fast wanderers but for victory as well and also for some of the other clubs i mean look at robbie fowler uh, he's um had a very slow start to his um you know professional managerial career but he's done well with the uh, Brexit tears that he's got at <laughs> Brisbane Raw, which he still doesn't get the uh, the jokes, unfortunately. And I think overall, we haven't had a um, a bad season. Your ball strength. We haven't had a um, off. Oh, I tell a lie. Probably haven't had a, as bad of a season we could have had. Definitely, but could have been much better as well. Majewski not having made the squad for the season was a massive loss in which where maybe we had to uh, a jigger formation and adapt to make do with um, what we had available at the time. Oh, save Lopa. Ooh. Who was that? I don't care who it was. So that derailment, you know, was a little bit frustrating, but uh, at the same time we got a good player, Nikolai Muller, coming from the German leagues as well, who also played alongside Schwigler at some point. So they had a bit of an understanding, which was good. Always good to have players who are on the same sort of wavelengths uh, of when you're um, when you're on the same squad. So um, Yaboa is on the ball now. Uh, underwhelming. I, I slated him um, uh, during my um, live uh, uh, live commentary of the Sydney derby whilst I was at home in isolation on the weekend. But got himself a goal, albeit fortuitously. Georgievsky is running in now. He's going to whip a ball in and going to no one, of course. And Schwegler, let's just have a dig. Yep. Oh, went nowhere. I thought uh, that was going straight in. Oh, it looks a bit like Schwegler. Looks a little bit like him. Where did this one go? Just wide. Redman had no chance. How wide was that? Probably very wide in the end. Who cares? But having players who play together have a bit of an understanding is good. And Simon Cox coming in halfway through the season for what uh, I think he's got a year and a half or something. So he's um, I think he's got a year and a half. It'd be a, a bad ATB correspondent if I didn't know that, or a bad Wanderers fan. But all the same, he is with us for at least another season. So that's um, that's not a not a bad thing at all. I think he um, you know, will thrive. And it's a good result, one nil at the half. He will thrive in the off season, and if JP does take over, which at the moment I'm not adverse to, I still think there's there's a big um, job at hand with the Wanderers to get them back up to where we know they can be, where they have been in previous seasons. So I think he will be looking to um, to strengthen in the off season if he does get the uh, job full time and. You know, having Lopa for for a few seasons, Yerman is an interesting one. He was uh, being reported as uh, having other clubs looking at him because uh, he was only with us, I think, for a season. And we will see what happens there. Um, McGowan, uh, Dylan McGowan, brother of Ryan, who plays for Sydney FC. I hope I got that right. Um, also is uh, with us, I think, for a couple of seasons. Ziegler has still got one season left, I think, on his uh, contract if he doesn't become a citizen, who has been... Um, you know, uh, found wanting uh, quite a fair few times. Who maybe hasn't been the uh, the player we um, expected as a um, centre back and also to be a defensive mid. But yeah, whatever. Uh, can't say him too much. We've got young players coming through like Tass in the uh, defensive line and Russell, who's coming to his own. Um, unfortunate for Wilmering to um, get that um, knee injury when he got it um, at the time that he did. What some maybe ten games ago. Uh, he was actually um, playing well on that left wing, uh, and Georgievsky was uh, on the right. And um, since um, Tate Russell has come into the fray, and, and also uh, Elrich, who played a, a few times as well, um, it's uh, good to see a good crop of youngsters coming in and, and, and playing and getting a feel for the first team, which, you know, to sound like a broken, broken record, we've always wanted a team of Wanderers, and now we actually are getting a team of Western Sydney players and i think that's um it's a testament to the hard work being done at the uh at the training ground and also through to the uh coaching and the um development of the uh the players that we have at the moment that's poor defending from georgievsky get it out thank you very much um and back as we've seen an uh, uh, a uh, resurgence of uh of uh, Kieran Bacchus, uh, used to be baby Bacchus, now he's just Bacchus because Keanu decided to um oh, sorry um uh, Kieran decided to go overseas, and Keanu, formerly Baby Bacchus, is just Bacchus now and, and runs the midfield with the big um, Swiss Schwegler. But also at the same time as well, we've also got the likes of Sullivan, who's come in. Odoherty had a bad injury 
a couple of seasons ago against the Mariners. I remember I was almost right in front of him in the RBB at Spotless when it happened, and that was um, uh, pretty bad for, for the young kid. And he's come in and, and had a few good performances. And Yaboa's been um, a polarizing one, I think, because we know how good he can be. But at the same time, it's it's frustrating. Oh, his ball's just behind him. It's frustrating to see a player who does have talent and he doesn't util utilize it as well as probably he can. Maybe that's me maybe wanting too much of the player. Maybe that's just um, the reality of what we've got, um, you know, the, the cards we've been dealt with. So, nice little flicks there. Another one there. Yep, finish. Oh, that was a nice little move. Who can we bring on as a sub? Your bowler come out. Of course. Bruce Kamel, perfect segue to Bruce Kamel. Started the season injured. He's come into it. He's had good moments, um, you know, in matches. I think the best game he played for us was against uh, Adelaide a few weeks ago in that 5-3 um, game. That was a thrilling match, and, you know, what a game to, to be at. Uh, for those that were there, there weren't many there, but some I was there, so I can uh, put my hat that um that's when we uh, clicked under JP to um, really get a big result out of that. Before that, we played Adelaide away and Georgievsky's famous um, waddle uh, walking past the um, the officials uh, from that handball and he refused to, um, he was like, nah, I'm refusing to play and I'm not, not getting out there and ended up finishing the match and we ended up winning. 3-2 um, in the end because they uh, missed the penalty. Blackwood hit it straight over. Have a dig. No. Oh. Going for a nothing shot like uh, Cox did against your bowler the other week. Um, and, and Bruce Kamau, another player who's very talented, very quick, um, you know, skillful on the ball. His final pass is lacking, though. His crossing, crossing isn't always the best. Yes, he's had a few good gems. His cross on the weekend led to the equaliser for Yaboa. His cross, uh, I think it was against Melbourne City when we scored, what, the first uh, you know, minute of the game. Uh, they ended up beating us 3-2, unfortunately. Uh, but he's got some skill in him, and, and hopefully he can hone in on that and keep it going. Uh, Tate Russell as well. Good to see him become a, um, a regular in this team. That was a poor throw. Don't know why I did that. Uh, and hopefully he keeps on going uh, because he's a Western Sydney boy, and we want to see Western Sydney players keep on thriving. Yeah, this game's almost going to finish, so... Um, what happens for the rest of the season for ourselves for ATB? Um, you know, if you listened to the last episode and, and if you didn't, I um, I implore that you do. It was myself, Turner, and Josh using uh, modern technology uh, via Skype, and it was good to see us playing. Um, he's off. Oh, oh a solid finish, but he's offside. Um, so I'm not sure what we're going to do, but hopefully we can do more things like this or, or yeah, upload FIFA videos and, and do other bits and pieces. So I think there's a lot more to come uh, from ourselves. We're, we're not finished by a long shot, you know, and uh, that's a solid 1-0 to Western Sydney Wanderers. Seems fitting that we win 1-0. Um, Muller scored the goal. Uh, don't know if he'd be the uh, actual goal scorer, but um, nonetheless, that is what it is. So we'll see what happens. Um, but if you have any suggestions, any ideas, any topics, doesn't have to be football related, could be movies, could be books, could be anything except the COVID-19 situation around the world. Look at that mullet on Grant, that is fantastic. If only his real life mullet looked like that. Uh, please feel free, send them through, drop us a line at Twitter, you can see the uh, tags above there, at ATBWSW, uh, or go to aroundtheblock.com.au and email us feedback at aroundtheblock.com.au but that is it for myself for this hope you hopefully you have enjoyed hopefully the video hasn't been too bad i'm gonna watch it back and um yeah you'll hear from myself and the others soon